So, um, the previous two videos, we covered Nightland, Uni Nightland um, Secrets and Trojanville Secrets in this weird mini-series I'm making. Since so many people have asked for it, so, and guess what? Obviously, we're going to do Warrior Town next, so, yeah. So stay tuned, and we'll be, we'll be right, and I'll be showing you guys all the secrets Warrior Town has to offer. There's actually not as much as you would expect, but they're still pretty decent. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, this is the game. This is back from another video. Angel, I'll be showing you guys some of the Warrior Town secrets. You guys may want to like what, what do you mean by Warrior Town? Well. Now, well, so basically, in case you guys don't know, Warrior Town is Night Lord and is the Night is the University of Night Lord RPG, and all that stuff. So, um, yes. Also, I'm gonna speed myself 30 so that I can make so that I can pretty much find show you guys these secrets faster. Oh wait, I just realized something. Oh, of course. Duh. I mean, what'd you expect? Of course, we got these armories. Okay, but yeah. In all seriousness, now serious though. In all seriousness, though, we're going to be showing you guys, I'm going to be showing you guys all these secrets and what to expect from these secrets. And also Easter eggs. So, yeah, um, that being said, uh, let's hop right up. Before we begin, if you guys like me, post more comments, please be sure to subscribe, like, and turn on bell, so that you also not miss you. And let's, let's hop right up. So, starting things off, we're going to be showing, be showing guys, um, some of the, uh, some of the most interesting secrets of them all. Uh, I'll be showing you guys probably the spawn entrance. Spawn doesn't really have that many secrets at all. The only things that are here are just like the leaderboard and all that, and no, all pretty much. So, the only thing I would consider a secret though is this are these things right here. But hey, but they're just oyster eggs with lore. And you have Obsidian Austin awesome Mist Talks, the people you defeated in Universe 1 and 2. Wonder what they're doing here. Well, they have dialogue, and I'm not going to show you guys the dialogue because, I mean, they're just here to hang out, not to do our stuff. So, yeah, there's that. Anyways, as you can tell, um,. Yeah, I'm just gonna be showing you guys all this. So let's hop right it. So starting things off, um, there is a bit. So there aren't really as many secrets as you may think, as I said earlier. But there are a couple decent ones, so I'll show you guys them right away. So and of course, the and of course, the first one is not in Warrior Town, and the first one is not even in Swords of Empire. Yeah, it's actually in the Blade and Rebellion, I think. No, I can't. You know, I can't believe. It. No, I can't be on. So yeah, um. So a couple of Easter eggs we have here are Swords of Plains, Swords of Desert, Swords of Tundra. Um, there is a couple, and there's a bit of an inside joke with Swords of Tundra. I will show you guys that, um, but I just just for fun. So you guys know there's the ever, never the Everfrost Tundra, where there where there is the Never Frost Tundra. Like, so basically you have an Everfrost Stray, but then you have a Never Frost Stray. Hmm, I wonder why. But yeah, um, you know how like there's never frost tundra. Now there's like an ever frost tundra, like pretty much. It's like King King Everfrost and all that stuff. So yeah, that's really all there is to that. I just want to show you guys. It's a bit of a weird joke. Uh, it's kind of confusing. Like never frost. Thank God, ever frost. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, that's all I can say about that. So the Badlands does not really have any secrets. They have grasslands. Actually, we'll show you grasslands since there was at one point a bit of an interesting. Um, it was at one point a bit of an interesting um, video or a bit of an interesting Easter egg here. So basically, as of course, as usual, we got EGL Swag Timmy as a contributor and an inspiration. Uh, I can talk about EGL, but yeah. We got Sign Infinity God, the person who made Tenebris. Um, and then we have Num Namini. He actually was not in here originally. He got the person before him, he there was something called Rick Astley. Yeah, I Rick rolled everyone in this, in this whole game by this one statue. Um. Yeah, and that's really all there is to it. That's really all there is. That's really it. That's really it, pretty much. So, yeah. Um. See, so yeah, I never really had did have a secret of him. Never really did have a secret for him for us to view today. And that's actually an actually hard glitch. And I don't think anyone anyone would have ever thought this would actually be a thing. But I do remember it from heart. So let's get to it. So Blade and Path, Blade and Forth, Blade and Cam do not have any secrets. Um. I will say. Blade and Cam does not. Blade and Cam does not have any secrets, but I will say it does have a mega boss in it. That's actually pretty much word noteworthy. So, as you guys may know, I think it's the Mystic or Mythic. No, it's the. I think it's the Mystic. So, it's what. So basically, what it got here is basically the. It's one of the. It's not the Mystic or Mystic mega boss. It's called um, the Blade and Grass Wizard, and he's basically that should spell stuff. So yeah, um, he's pretty rare, but like I said, uh, worth actually worth a shot. So. Yeah, that's really all there is to him. Uh, but yeah. 
So, it's really simple for him to say that. I mean, clearly. But, yeah. Anyways, we got a Blaine Camp 2, Blaine Camp 3. Nope, not in there. Excalibur Dunes has another interesting area by itself. Excalibur Dunes has to show up times in there. Yeah. It's uh, kind of surprising. But, yeah. So, of course, maybe we're where he spawns at. Well, he kind of he pretty much spawns right here on his pill on his rock thing. So, yeah. Um... Now, of course, as usual, you'll be curious as to what this, why he's, why he's bonds here. I mean, short times is an inside joke, like I said, or a uh, running gag in the game, so. That's pretty much why we add him in this, in this universe. No joke, so. Yeah, so basically, you got these Excalibur uh, Sand Golems and the Sand Devil. Um, so yeah, it ain't really a big deal. So, yeah, that's real. So, yeah, it really, there's not really any secrets here. But Excalibur made it have two secrets of itself, of their own. Now they have two secrets which you can find for yourself. Um, now I'm gonna have to find out. It's kind of, it's kind of hard to navigate through this maze. Like I, I I'm having trouble myself, and I don't even know where I'm going. So I'm probably gonna be here. But yeah, there's a, there's a couple secrets you have to expect from this area. So do if you guys want to take take on this maze, do be warned that this wasn't it's not required. I'm, well, I'm just gonna say that right away because some people have literally just. Really complained to me that the maze is too hard. When I just when I really said like earlier, it wasn't required. That's the thing. So yeah. Anyways, um, as you would notice, one of there you will notice something. Come on, where are you? You know you you know you want to show up. Oh my god, I'm actually kind of scared right now. This thing is gonna show. Up. Okay, uh, I think I found it. Um, if you turn here. You'll see, you've been gnomed! Oh man, it's a gnome from the dead meme of 2018. Yeah. If you touch him, you'll have, you'll get badge. However, I got the badge already, so yeah. And he says, imagine wasting your time in a maze. Yeah. You. You're so bad at directions, directions, so. Yeah. Anyways, as you can tell, he's right there, as always, so let's get to it. Alright, so. Now, the next, now the next secret is a bit of an interesting one. I'm not sure if I can find it by myself, but if I can, I'd be crazy to say it. it's not possible. Okay, so, yeah, this is a, I'm not having a hard time finding a secret myself, but it is around here somewhere, like I said earlier, so, yeah. But basically, what you have to do is simply go find one of the areas, and you'll find something that's a bit interesting. I mean, obviously. Oh, I think I found it. Nope, I did not find it. Okay, so it's got to be around somewhere. Uh, nope. Nope. Uh, nope. Come on, it's gotta be around somewhere. Come on, mate. You know you want. You know you want to find yourself. You know you want to reveal yourself eventually. Ah, here it is. So basically, you'll see this interesting tomb here, right here, and this is basically the tomb of Lord Zephyr. Lord Zephyr, you know, the person who made the Legends of the Multiverse. Well, he's a legend. He's the first legend boss you'll fight in the game. This is where he spawns on his portal right here. Yeah, he's kind of hard to spot, but he is. He's kind of, it's really hard to find him, but you will find him eventually. If you guys would like a link to, um, you guys want to view the map, the map of the maze for yourself, I will leave a link in the Trello, of the Trello of that is linked with Night Lordian in the description, so you guys have, can have a look at the secrets yourself. And many other stats of Night Lordian's mobs. Special say the story queue for making the Trello, because she really does an interesting job with the Trello stuff, so, yeah. Now, now we got Excalibur Dunes, let's move on to Excalibur Mineshaft? Yeah, Mineshaft. Now, the mineshaft doesn't really have that many secrets either, um, but I will say um, it's kind of hard to find it. But um, but there aren't really many secrets in Scrabbar Caverns either. Um, and but Scrabbar High does have a bit of an interesting secret. Um, you guys will notice that there is a you guys will notice there's a volcano here. This is where the Minotaur spawns, the mega boss of the Scrabbar Hideout. Was it? Yeah, I think it was called a Hideout. Um, I'll be damned if I would, but it's not called a Hideout. It was called a Hideout. So. Yeah, um, so yeah, that's really all there is to this area, pretty much. It's pretty much a simple, um, it's pretty much a really simple thing but to find, but the military spawns here since it's kind of hard to find them, but if you are able to, if you are able to say look here, in case you guys don't know, yes, he spawns here. So yeah, that's really all there is to this. Now, next up is the last couple of areas. This is actually an interesting area. So, the Warrior Town Outskirts. Now, the Warrior Town Outskirts doesn't really have that many interesting secrets. But I will say they do have a couple of interesting. They, I will say, um, I will say one thing: the secret, the secret I'm about to show you is probably one of the hardest to spot. I don't think anyone will be able to find this. 
I'll bet you, like, comment below if you guys actually found it, but if you guys didn't find it, you guys, if you guys actually know about the secret, you guys are legends. Only Namini knows the secret, I, from what I've heard, but I don't think anyone else has. Anyways, let me show you guys it. So, nothing really here much. Um, the only thing that is a secret here is the Golden Grady spawns in one of these hills right here. I will show you that, but, um, yeah. And also the myth, uh, there's also the, there's also the, like, the, what is it, what you call it? Oh, yeah, the Wicked War Royal King. Uh, the Royal Wicked King, he's in, he spawns in the, the Wicked, the Wicked Outskirts or whatever, part two, I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, this is the war. anyways, we're gonna go in straight into Warrior Town Tower 1, or Floor, Warrior Town Tower Floor 1, so. Really isn't much here to say, nonetheless, I will say that, so. Yeah, anyways, now, yeah, anyways, so now he gave us a secret here, but he does he, but it's not in this area. You have to go to the second floor to find it now. A lot of people would not would question me saying, it, let me guess, it's, it's the wrong, it's the secret you call, you went the wrong way, Buster. Wrong. I know. I'm surprised to say that. I know. I'm surprised to say that too. Like, really. So basically, what you have to do is simply go over here. I will show you the Buster Easter eggs as well. But yeah. Basically, what you have to find here, basically what you'll find is these things right here called, you went the wrong way, Buster. Ah, darn. Ah, classic Namini, isn't he amazing? Honestly, I really like, I real say, I really love his, or, I literally love their, um, designs, also. It looks just amazing. Like, classic, honestly. So, yeah, pretty much. Now, the finals, now, now the wrong way, you went the wrong way, Buster. That's pretty much the second one. Now, the final secret of them all, that maybe no one has ever seen, is Namini came up with a secret. And it's kind of our spot, but you will know, but you'll never see it again. You never will see it again. But if you look closely, you will see something kind of pop out. If I can find it. I couldn't remember where it was. Hang on. Hold on, I think... Hold on, let me actually, hold on. Um, I couldn't remember where it was, but basically on one of these walls... Hold on, is this the wall? Let me take a look. I think this... Yeah, I can see. Huh, let me actually take a closer look at it. Alright, so I found it. And, yes, I had to know a clip because I, it took me a while to find it. But, do you guys know the same thing? You'll notice there's an interesting face right there. If you guys look really closely, really, really closely, you'll see an anime girl. And Hatsune Miko, to be exact. Um, you guys don't know where to, a picture of? I, I don't know what to say, honestly. And so Miko's basically um, a weird anime girl from who knows what anime show it is, but he said he decided to put the secret here and he just like where did I was like he took something to say and like with no context and I was like, Oh, it took me well to find it, but damn, that's actually pretty interesting. But yeah, Hasu Miku as you look you can now see his her face right there. The blue hair, the interesting, I don't know Everything. Everything about it, pretty much. And stop killing me, Warrior Knights. You guys are weird. Okay, I'm trying to show a secret here, and yet you guys just keep on screwing it up. You guys are NPCs. I can't, you got, I can't understand your NPCs, but still, I'm trying to show a secret here. But yeah, um, that really is all there is to the secrets. Um, so yeah, I'll, in the end, it really, in the end, it's kind of hard to find out, but yeah. Anyways, how many secrets did you guys find out? How many secrets did you guys know about this? It was, did you guys like this? It was, like, did you guys, so, let me know if you guys actually have found out. You guys know about the secrets earlier, but if you guys did not know about the secrets, please let me know which one you guys knew and stuff like that. But yeah. Anyways, um, that's probably guys for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me push my comments. Please be sure to subscribe. Like and turn on bell, so show. We also not miss you. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And this beginning sticks out.